spade. A brick. Well, to make a brick you have to start off in a place like this. It's called a quarry. A quarry is a place where we dig in the ground for things like rock or sand. This digger is digging for something used to make bricks. Clay. This is clay. It's found underground and it's full of water which makes it all squishy. <laughs> Just listen to the sound. It's squelchy and soft. Clay can be squished into all sorts of shapes and it's used to make lots of different things. Clay makes dinner plates, plant pots. You might have even used clay yourself. Look, I've turned some clay into a little man. As well as clay, bricks are made from this, sand. Sand is really strong and is made from rocks that are crushed into tiny, tiny bits. Now, if you've ever built a sandcastle, then you'll know just how good sand is for building things. The sand is mixed with the clay and these tiny black things. Do you know what this is? It's called coal. Coal is made from trees and plants that died millions of years ago. And over time, it's turned black. And now it's more like a rock than plants. Isn't that amazing? Now, let's go see how the clay, the sand and the coal are all mixed together. Come and look. The clay, sand and coal is being mixed inside this huge drum. But I want to get a closer look. Luckily, I've got my special camera with me on a long pole. So we can get right inside the mixer and see what's going on. inside the drum and spinning round to really crush up the sand, the clay and the coal to mix it together. When the mix is ready, it goes along a special moving shelf called a conveyor belt. It travels through the factory and then it goes through this machine, oozes onto the table where John can turn it into a brick. John uses a special box like this. It's called a mould and it's the shape of a brick. John puts in a dollop of the mixture, which he flattens with a piece of wood. He then turns the mould over and out comes a brick. The problem is, even though the mixture looks like a brick, it's still soft and squidgy and <laughs> you can't build a house with a brick like that. Do you know how we could make the brick dry and turn hard? The bricks are put in a special place called a kiln to dry. They will have to be in there for three whole days. The bricks are now dry, but they're not very strong or hard. They're still a little bit crumbly. To become hard enough to be built into houses, they have to be cooked in an oven. This is called firing and it's really noisy. Can you see that the bricks have turned yellow? This means that they're very, very hot. The bricks are fired for another three days. Firing the bricks makes the clay dry out even more, so they become really hard. And these are finished bricks. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how much they've changed. They're not soft and squishy anymore. Now, they're really, really hard. And I think, ready to build a house with. I loved seeing how bricks were made. Did you? What was your favourite bit? Can you remember the name of the special boxes the clay and sand mixture was put into? 
That's right, they're called moles, and they give the bricks their special shape. Did you like the sound of the sloppy clay squelching in my hands? And did you see how the bricks got so hot in the kiln that they turned yellow? So the next time you're in your house, you'll know how the bricks were made and how the big cranes were used to move them all about. See you next time.